Hello, everyone, everyone. I am here for my review of Real Housewives of Potomac, Season 6, The Reunion, Part 4. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I am Lady P. I like to do reviews on scripted reality shows as well as scripted shows. If you're returning, you're one of my peoples, welcome back. I felt we didn't need four parts. We could have had Nikki come through on season three. Not season three, but part three of the reunion and just left the majority of this out. Because it was a lot of lying going on, if you ask me. And I just wish she would have delved into some more of the comments that a few of the reviewers have noticed that nobody seems to talk about, even though it seems like it's present. But okay. We talk about the rumor and how Nikki thinks that Ashley was just as malicious as Giselle of bringing the rumor up to Eddie. Now, Robin says out of her mouth that they didn't think Wendy was going to react the way she did. Okay, let's break this down. Y'all had these conversations about Eddie cheating, and y'all made the point to say that y'all didn't believe that Eddie was cheating, but then at a different time, come along talking about some is this why Wendy got her, um, got her a mommy makeover because of these rumors about Eddie, even though we don't believe these rumors are true. Then y'all went on to say that this woman is loose and basically, you know, you not as smart, you can't be smart and sexy out here. And then y'all get together with mainly Giselle and Ashley, y'all get together and Giselle hands over the baton to Ashley to talk to Wendy after y'all have had several conversations about this and not now time to one of y'all think let me go to Wendy about this and then Ashley brings it up now Wendy already got it on her mind y'all done called me lose y'all say I'm acting different because I got my mommy makeover because now I am confident in my skin and now you bringing up this rumors yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dig all the way into y'all. Would y'all think she was supposed to just, y'all sit there and come for her like that and she wasn't supposed to say nothing? Did y'all really think that that's how it was going to go? All the message y'all been talking about this lady, that she was just supposed to sit there and not say anything. That's how it was supposed to go in y'all world after all the mess that y'all done done. You, Robin, you tried to dog on it, attack Ashley because she was coming after your finances. You and Monique got into it for whatever reason, but Wendy's not allowed to react when y'all didn't was talking behind her back and accusing her of doing A, B, C, and D? Okay. But I agree. I think Ashley was just as wrong because you've had this conversation with Giselle before and now that Wendy is acting different because she, yeah, it, she she's feeling herself because her body is the way it was before she had kids. I mean, t let me tell you, if my stomach was to get flat, who, who ain't going to be out here wearing some nice clothes? I can't wear the clothes I want to because, you know, I have, you know, this quarantine and got me with well, quarantine and, you know, getting older and I can't eat like I used to. Because what I'm telling you, it, when I was younger, I can eat everything and I stayed small. They're like, either like 25 to 27 is this when that weight was like, yeah, it's time. You can no longer do the things you want to do. You're going to start have to start exercising. You but best believe if I, once I start exercising and I get this good down, oh, yeah, I'm going to be wearing some really cute, cute, cute outfits. Where are we at? Tell we talk about, we look at these season one looks and I was like, wow. Yep, you ladies have come a long way, even though Giselle is still a hit and miss. More of on the hidden side. Ooh, them, them, them season one looks. Mm. I'm glad that Nikki was holding Giselle to the fire about the lion and what she has said because she's like, I've never said this about Karen. Roll that beautiful bean food. Did you talk about you ain't never talk about Karen's age? You just said she needed the pins. You didn't say some other things that escaped my mind right now. You have talked about with Karen before. And I wanted us to spend more time on this of how the how Karen, Robin, Giselle, and Ashley, they can say things about each other. It's cool. And maybe a little bit Mia, but when 
Candace and Wendy say something, it's the end of the world. Karen said that Giselle had a hot box because that's what they was talking about on the blogs. And they kind of skimmed right past that. She apologized and they skimmed right past that. They doggone was holding candy to that yo mama comment for like episodes. I wish we would have talked about that. But I'm glad that Nikki was like, no, nah, Giselle, we ain't going to just sit here and let you just sit here and lie and say you didn't say that when we have you on camera saying it. That's the thing. I don't, we have you on camera saying things, but oh, that's different. This is fun shade. No, we're not going to, you are not going to decide of whether it's fun shade what you say. And then when I say something, it's malice, it's malicious, it's just all the way wrong. No. Now, Karen says that, you know, they talk about Karen looking a lot different. And baby, does she look a lot different than she did from season one? It's because, you know, she's been getting the Botox and she's been getting the under eye filler treatment. You know, she's been eating right and exercising. And that's why she's looking like she looked now because that season one. She was looking like she did in season one. We're just going to leave it at that. They talk about Giselle and, uh, what's his name, Jamal getting back together. I, still, I don't care how she tried to spin this. I do not believe that Giselle Bryant and Jamal Bryant were together between the 2019 and 2021. Together as a couple, boyfriend, girlfriend, dating, I don't believe that. Do not believe that at all. You you started out this show talking about some Jamal was a cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. How he had cheated on you before y'all got married, while y'all was married, and when y'all was dating this last time. And you thought to go back to him? Okay, but anyways... Uh, where was I at? She lets it be known that when she was married to Jamal, that she helped build the church. They had like 40 members of the church, and she helped build that church to 40,000, like not 40,000, but over um, thousands of members. And they wasn't living off the church's money. He wasn't getting paid to be a pastor at the church he was at. They was living off his speaking engagements, his preaching at other churches, and his books. Because he wanted the, what they would have paid him as a pastor of the church, wants that to go back into the church. To build and fund, you know, paying the musicians, making sure the upkeep of the church is okay. Those type of things. She let, that, let it be known clear right then and there. But they showed a picture of Jamal and they three girls looking happy but i thought and i could be wrong that they divorced when the twins were very very young and since then they haven't had the best relationship with their daddy so y'all put that in the comment section below did i just make that up in my head or or no but long story short i do not believe these two was together the question was asked, since Karen, Ashley, and Mia married older men, would they still marry their husbands if they had $100 million in their bank account? Now, Ashley claims she was attracted to Michael when she first met him. This 22-year-old young girl was attracted to this 50-something-year-old man because he was funny. And she was physically attracted to him. And I believe Nikki said, what was you attracted to? And that's what I was like. Okay, Ashley. Karen says that, you know, the money didn't hurt because she ain't out here trying to be with no broke man. But, you know, Ray, he moved her soul. She loved this man. Mia said, what makes you think I ain't got a hundred thousand, a hundred million dollars in my account now? And, she, and Nikki was like, because I know you don't. So answer the question. Let me tell you, if G didn't have the money that he had, if he wouldn't, if she had a hundred million dollars, she still would have got with G. But I was like, you, you, you met G at the strip club anyway. No. 
I don't believe them. I don't believe if Michael was just some dude and she already had money, would she be with Michael? I do not believe that at all. Same as Mia. I do not believe that. I believe Karen loves Ray, but I think, you know, money may have been a factor into her geeking with Ray. They talk about um, Karen, not Karen, what's her name? Candace and the ladies. You know, some of the ladies, they didn't believe in the success of Candace's song. And Candace, she was like, she's already sold a half of, um, she already sold over a half a million streams. She's number 24 on R&B billboards and number four on iTunes. And she is sold 20,213 copies of the album. Now, I don't know if that's good, but like seeing as how she didn't have a record label when she was doing like the majority of these things, I think she's doing good. I don't, I don't know 20,000 in album sales, but I, I don't remember. It was somebody, it was an artist who was an established artist that like, one of their albums, you know, it only sold like 40,000 copies. I could be wrong or that just like popped in my head wrong. But yeah, I think Candace, you continue to go out here and make your mu music. Put your energy into your music. Another thing I didn't like was the fact that Can Can Candace was always up there. What's the word I'm looking for? Standing up for Giselle and Ashley. No, no. Remember, Giselle was the one who was like, if had Mo if had me and popped you upside the head, she would have been like, well, you deserved it. Remember that. Remember how all the nasty stuff that Ashley done to you. But I do think she was being sarcastic when Nikki asked Ashley, like, uh, you just had a baby and you came down there and caused all that mess. And I think Candace was being jealous, uh, was being, um, was being sarcastic. Was just like, well, she had to work. She had to work. Like the look and the tone that she was saying, that's what I uh, that's what I got out of it. She was oh, she had to work. That's why she came down there to be nasty. That is her job to be nasty. And she, she you know, she needed that check for going down there for that few few, few little hours. They asked um Candace the same because she did a lot of auto too on her um album. What you sang, and after a little coercion, she was like, she she sang. Me was like, well, you're a singer. I'm like, well, you shut up. But anyways, yeah, she sung Drive Back. She was able to do it, and I was like, see, she been singing since she was little. Yeah, she used a little bit of the idol tune, but yeah. I I wish they would have talked more about Mia and her lies, and how. The group, it seems like they just let Mia slip on her lies and how she interprets things or perceives things. I wish they would have talked a little bit more about that. But I am glad this reunion is over. Yeah, so y'all, that was the gist. If I left anything out, by all means, leave a comment below. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. It is free all day, every day, free $3.99. Make sure your notifications are on so when my beautiful face puts up a video. You can click on it, you can like it, and share it with your people, and you can come over and be one of my peoples. If you're already one of my peoples, uh, welcome back. Y'all know what to do. Tell your people to tell their people to come over and be one of my peoples by clicking that icon above. This is Lady T sending off. Have a good one.